During a press briefing today, Mitch McConnell froze up for about 30 seconds. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all, we're gonna need a minute. Senator, Penny. Yep. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. Now, I know that was hard to watch, but this is the second time this has happened in just a little over a month. Here's the first time. Partisan cooperation and a string of uh, Do you want to say anything else to the press? Let's go back to you. Go ahead, John. Now, obviously, nobody wants this to happen to even their worst enemies, but this is getting a little ridiculous that Mitch McConnell has not retired. He is the Senate minority leader. He is a senator. Uh, he is clearly unfit to hold the office that he holds. And a lot of people are wondering, why is he even being put in this position? How are there people in his office, his staffers, who haven't come out and said, look, we can't put him in front of microphones anymore? I mean, it's completely irresponsible. And it it makes me wonder, are they just soulless people where they really don't even understand what's going on with Mitch McConnell? Or are they just stupid and they saw this happen last month and they're not even putting people up at his side uh, during these press briefings in case something were to happen just so that they could, you know, step in right away and say something. No, they have everybody off to the side when clearly Mitch McConnell, it's a time bomb and these types of things can happen to him at any point. So it's so frustrating to watch this because it can, these instances can, can be avoided so easily. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. I think it speaks to kind of how inept both Mitch McConnell and his staffers are. Uh, and it just screams at the top uh, of of its lungs like you, you cannot be in office anymore. Uh, the fact that you did this once uh, and then decided a month later that you were going to hold a similar press briefing and it happened again. I mean, maybe he's just he's really, really holding on to power and his staffers know that their power, their positions rely on Mitch McConnell being in that office and holding that office. So again, they're, they're inept, they're uh, soulless, uh, and they're putting their own power over our democracy. Just another instance of Republicans being completely selfish.